All right, we're going to call the November 14th meeting to order the Planning and Zoning Commission. Everybody stand for the invocation and the pledge. <clears throat> Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord God. Thank you for all the many blessings that you've given us, Lord. Please bless us on the dais tonight. Please bless our staff. Please bless our citizens and then our first responders, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. <clears throat> pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Roll call, please. Chair Lumnick? Here. Vice Chair Forges? Here. Member Keller? Here. Member Williams? Here. Member Crocker? Here. And Member Shuckle? Here. Perfect. Consent agenda. Can somebody please give me a motion for the motion October 10th? Agenda. We have a motion to approve. Second. Second. All right, we got a motion to approve by Member Keller, second by Member Williams. Go ahead and vote. Good to go. All right, no old business, new business, the Chinapin property, small scale comprehensive plan amendment from low density residential to commercial and a rezoning R1A to C2. Uh, project CPA 2023-2023002 and RZ230909. Yes, thank you. Uh, for the record, Mike Rumor, Development Services Director. And the item before you is a small-scale land use amendment, which in previous years was anything under 10 acres. Uh, the new law, in effect, is anything under 50 acres is now a small-scale land use amendment. Uh, this property is at 1.65 acres. It's located on the north side of Palm Drive, east of the State Road 429 and west of Ocoee Apopka. The uh, low density residential land use is what a typical single family uh, land use up to four dwelling units an acre. And it has an associated zoning of R1A residential. And the applicant is seeking to amend that, to change the land use to commercial and then an accompanying rezoning of the property to commercial C2. Uh, the property is vacant. It, if you've been by there at all in the past, I'm not sure if it's still there, but there's some goats out there that have a good time. Uh, the property, as you can see on the aerial here, the area is uh, more specifically located on the southern edge uh, well, this is the land use in the zoning map. It's on the lower edge of the business character area, which runs from Palm Drive to up to Damascus. And there's also lands on the west side of the 429. This is a specific zoning overlay by ordinance, which has a design criteria. We just saw a project last month, uh, the 606 uh project, the sports facility, and the 429 and the uh, Progress Commercial Park. The idea of the overlay in place is to generate a commerce center utilizing the popularity of the 429 being between the interchanges of Plant Street and West Road. And so we master planned everything on the west side of Ocoee Popka Road under this overlay to be mixed use, mixture of uses to include retail, commercial, light industrial, flex, and opportunities for multifamily, but at a smaller scale. To date, we've had three, two uh, light industrial class A flex projects, one retail uh, uh, commercial recreation that's in process. Uh, we've had the uh, headquarters for um, the uh, project, the building there. I, uh, I can't think of the name of it. The, on that building there on the south side of Ocoee, Apopka, Warner? Vermeer, Vermeer. Uh, the Vermeer headquarters, which has on the second floor their headquarters for the southeast in Bahamas, underneath the retail part, and in the back they do their new deliveries. They also do training there. So we're seeing success from this targeted emphasis of this area and this property is located there uh, right on the southern edge on palm drive uh, palm drive has sufficient water and sewer 
and this property is uh, as a pretty good re regular rectangle shape. It, it should be very popular for somebody to be able to easily find a development that works. We're doing uh, seeking the commercial zoning designation of C2, which would comply with a future land use of commercial as requested. And so uh, this just provides further opportunities to have uh, jobs and have uh, amenities that residents can use. Ideally, they drive into this area to co go to work and they don't have to go far to find restaurants, gas, retail, and stuff like that. And so with that, this is a straight zoning. So the property will be bound by not only the comprehensive plan and the land development code, but it also has this overlay on top of it. So there's not a reason, there's no plan of a future building at this time. With straight zoning, you don't need that. He's amending the land use to commercial. The associated zoning request of C2 has the listed of permitted and prohibited uses, as well as what the overlay has. And the site would be, I expect, marketed as such, unless he has plans to uh, do something. I know he is a business owner himself. I've wor been working with him now for several years, and we have a good relationship. And um, he's, he's coming through with what he said he was going to do a while back. So the uh, staff is fully behind this. It makes sense. The commercial is what we really need and want in this target area. And I'm available for any questions. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Any questions for staff? No. All right. Applicant wants to, you want to come and say something? No. Cool. All right. We open up to the public. We're going to close the public. Any other questions for staff? If not, I'll take a motion for the uh, rezoning. The land use first. Excuse me, the land use first. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion that... Uh, we recommend approval of the proposed small-scale comprehensive plan future land use map amendment and associate uh, for amendment uh, identifying no issues and make the recommendation approval to convert property from low density residential. Thank you. Do I have a second to commercial? No. Okay. I'll second that. Awesome. We have a <clears throat> recommendation for approval by Member Keller, second by Vice Chair Forges. Uh, any other questions? Let's go ahead and vote. That carries. I need another rezoning, please. Yeah, I moved that the board recommend approval of the Tennepin property uh, rezoning mm. from R1A to C2 um, as stated by staff and RG2809. Thank you. Do I have a second? I'll second. Perfect. We have a, a recommendation for approval by Member Williams and a second by Member Keller. Any other questions? Let's vote. <clears throat> Carries. Congratulations. Okay, so the next step, the ordinance will be read at the December 7th meeting. We don't have another meeting until January. In January will be another public hearing with the City Commission, second reading of ordinance, and that's where the decision is finally made. Good. Thank okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Miscellaneous project status report, Director Rumor. Any questions? So let me just start off. Kind of, I know you've been thinking about this. So <laughs> while you, uh, so North Lakewood, North Lakewood, the two items, final items to open that road is a the thermopass plast striping will go is scheduled for Friday. If as long as the rain can hold off, it's after today. That should be good. And they have a couple repairs of bird bath, little depressions in the road that held water too long. And then the road is ready to go. Uh, we uh, have already accepted all the maintenance agreements and everything. It's just really check it off and it's opened. So looking forward to that. They have started the 7-Eleven out there and the uh, gas station and, and they've started a retail building, 15,000 square foot. Uh, Retail, which would be similar to the one that has over there by the Dunkin' Donuts on West Road and Koei Popka, that, about that size. And it'll have a number of users. They have told me um, that 
Chipotle is one, and I've had a call from Chipotle asking some uh, building permit questions. So that seems to be in line with what they said. Don't know any other users. At one time, they were talking about one of the pet supply stores. Um, it's got a green sign. Can't remember the name right now. Might even be called Pet Supply. But so, as those, if any cool users come, I'll let you know. And uh, that's what's going on with that development. Um, we are inching closer to the tech school being completed. It's not a city project, it's an OCPS, which is bringing the west side tech over to a COE. Uh, that parcel was slated to be a bus barn, and so we are very enthused to get that use. Um, we're working on finalizing a mixed use development up there, which will complement all of that, and you'll see some new roads and sidewalks and wide walks, and it'll be really a really neat looking area, kind of finish out the Crown Point uh, development up there. There will be one parcel left, which is 13 and a half acres for a future elementary school. Um, but they won't build that. They'll build four over in other places where they don't need them. So with that, I'll entertain uh, any questions. Anybody? Uh, on one question, if I may, Mr. <laughs> Chair. Um, do we know when Duke Energy is going to come out and remove those wires so they can take that tree down? <laughs> yeah, don't know. I mean, it's, yeah. We, it, it's nice. It's neat. It, it's like the Joshua tree. We get so many questions about it. Um, so I just tell everybody at this point they're leaving it up as a joke. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So. Uh, uh, we are expecting the, uh, what happens uh, to the engineers in the group, uh, what they do is, they work on all the plans, dump them on the cities and counties right before Thanksgiving, and then they're closed until through December. So uh, Wawa is going to be resubmitting this week. We have a bunch of resubmittals this week um, that we'll be working on the next couple of weeks to try to get some projects going. Cool. cool. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, anybody want to give me a motion to adjourn? Mm -hmm. Second. Second. All those in favor. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.